Super Pets 2 train scene extended woman with snake on her. Anyways, yeah, the woman with the snake on her is um, uh, Poison Ivy, actually. Because she's, yeah. She, yeah, she's trying to steal all the uh, special jewels for her, um, for her plants, you know. Because uh, plants need minerals. Yes, the taste plants crave. So, um, then, like, you know, she's all covered in ivy and the snake, you know, the super sensual. So then, like, you know, the back train cars where they are hiding in as Superman saves Lois at the front as she's trying to slow down the train and can't. Like, um, the snake has to, like, run and, like, sink its fangs into the train car in front of it because it's, like, separating. Yeah. And then, like, it wraps its tail around, like, the bar or whatever. It's like a supercharged snake. And then it, like, holds the, the train together in the back area. Superman doesn't notice, you know. Yes, as it, as it screams yeah. and strains with comedic snake eyeballs bulging out that turn purple with the amount yes. of strain, you know. As, yeah. it, as it holds the train together with enormous yeah. snake muscle, like it's Spider-Man, like that scene where exactly. Peter Parker's, like, you know, yeah. holding the train. Yeah. Yeah, then it, it weakly, you know, and then, it, it, you know, Poison Ivy picks it up, you know, and cradles it in her arms. So it opens its eyes slowly. <laughs> and she says, um, the jewels weren't that valuable. I don't know. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. The planet Krypton in Super Pets, the reason it exploded is because they were taking all the different colors, you know, because it was a pretty crystalline planet, and refracting cleverly all the light from the sun so that they were invisible to the rest of the universe. So then all the energy built up, and they never did anything with it, and then everything started superheating out of the crystals. So they started vibrating and shaking against each other and causing friction, and that caused the you know, magma to build up, and then everything started exploding everywhere because the crystals were containing so much light, and their heat became too great, and their uh, hubris became too mighty, and so they fell. <laughs> and uh, that's going to be fit into the plot, don't worry. There's a scene in the barn with beautiful light, sh light shafts coming in in Smallville where... Super dog who looks like our dog Willis, you know, that mysteriously vanished and will return. He with like silver, you know, eyebrows and towards his ears, you know, all majestically. Uh, he says to the orange cat, We're all hurting in different ways, but taking it out in the cartoon world just isn't the answer. And then, uh, you know, the cat, you know. He, uh, you know, shows how on his collar he's got, you know, blue kryptonite that keeps him rational and, you know, cool-headed and, uh, so that he can't, you know, damage anything around because it makes him more realistically energized for his body rather than, like, cheating like they're all doing and slowly dying of being shaken to death like their crystals juddering around on the micro level. So there's a cost to the superpowers, so, you know, they do need blue kryptonite, you know? It's good for them. I was watching this uh, old Superman cartoon. There's a watch this, okay? This is really silly. He just stops it, then takes off and puts it back up. See, that's way too basic. So, like... You know, Grant's idea was that he, like, torque spins the whole train as it's going down. Or applying his Superman anti-gravity yeah. magnetism to the whole train <laughs> while he, like, twists up out trying to fly away, like, from the curve and, like... So my idea was, you know, that it's just, like, a canyon down below. So he just, he just, like, runs faster than the train and tows it behind him. Like, it's, you know, like, whipping behind him like a tail as he's, like gripping it from behind his back, you know, it's like sprinting like a football, you know, star. Yeah. And then it's like the different train cars are like bouncing off of boulders and shit and they're like boulders are exploding ridiculously. And he's doing all this because in Super Pets, Lois Lane is in 
you know, the front train caboose for whatever stupid reason. Who cares? I don't know. And then um, she's like, you know, unconscious in there or something. And then um, it's a magnetic train, though, I realize. So then, like, he, like, uses the magnetism of the rails to do it. Ultimately, in Super Pets would be the idea, I guess. Because, like... Yeah, the reason why my version is different from his is because I just thought it was funny. Because we already said he goes to the doctor, and he says that it hurts when he pees. So yeah. then he, because he's torquing so much while flying and twisting with his arms yeah. and everything, up onto the other side of the track with the train in a full motion, that then he, he torsions his prostate, or, you know, general PC muscles. So then on top of it, then he has a... Uh, yeah. He has a, you know, like... Information there as well. Yeah, yeah, because his crystals are spun from eating sugar, you know. Yeah, shouldn't have eaten any sugar, you know. So then yeah. he's laying around with a uh, ice bag on his dick and balls while the super pets are doing everything. So yeah, right. exactly. And that, there's other reasons why he has an ice pack there as well, of course. Yes. But but my real idea when thinking all this through, <laughs> and the ultimate scene is. It's always got to be bigger and better, so instead Superman, he's like, oh no, Lois Lane's in trouble, you know, he like detects everything supposedly, so then he like, you know, checks in on her by like, you know, setting down on the magnetic rails where the train's going out, you know, across the country, and then he like detects that the train's, like, out of control or whatever, and, like, takes off. Yeah, she's knocked unconscious by yeah. the same speed forward as it slams her into something. the entire magnetic draw, like, shows from his crystalline vision's perspective, like, the magnetic draw of the tracks, like, sort of like the ion flow, like, whooshing along, like, magnetically. It's, like, accelerating, you know... And, like, has a different color, like, mixed in with the regular steady color. And it's all because Lex L Luthor is stealing energy from the power grid for his various absurd escape plans. Yes. The escape plan that he did. Yeah. He makes him escape from uh, the God of uh, Metropolis. Yeah. Draws too much power, you know what I mean? Because he stole city power to do it. So then the train is inconsistent and it breaks something in the train. Yeah. And the frequency's wrong on the track, so it keeps accelerating, you know. Yeah, good old LexCorp, you know. So, yeah, that's a good point. And then also some guys are robbing the train. Um, but they're doing it undercover because in my Super Pets, everybody's terrified of Superman and his stupid cohorts. So then... They they are, like, doing undercover thieving everywhere, you know, that's audacious, and we'll all get into that. So then, like, they're sneaking along doing that. So then, like, the whole point is they're, like, wearing lead clothes, and they all, like, stop and, like, hide, you know, in the train cars as they're, like, going to steal the gold bars or whatever the hell, like, the specially ionized gold bars that are glowing all pink and purple. And then, um... They all just hide, you know, as Superman goes to the front and saves no, her. The comedic part is they all hide, you know, as he goes past. But they'd be detected as vague, like, you know, not human shapes, you know what I mean? Yeah. So then they all, like, mimes go together into, like, a shape. <laughs> yes! Yes! Like, it's a cube, like, in story. <laughs> yes, a bunch of... Area. Yeah, like, they become a cube crate yes. of men. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Like yes, like they're the ultra thieves for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Good point. And then, well, in, in that case, then they might as well have, like, some, like, you know, like, super snake that, like, ties them all together. That's, like, the mastermind. Yes, this mastermind this snake with a jeweler's eye gem in one eye, you know, that it has in place constantly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> It picks up the diamond with his tail and looks at it, you know? Yeah. So, so yeah, sure. And then the, uh, I don't know, the snake is so desperate to steal, uh, the, the train car, like, is, like, separating when Superman is, like, r running the train. But, okay, back to my original idea. Because it's all magnetic that he picks up speed chasing after the train, so he's, like, stealing all the rest of the magnetism you know, out of, like, the crystalline storage from the city as he, like, accelerates infinitely towards the train, as it's, like, a wave of magnetism, like, that starts to, like, 
you know, like, rumple the tracks behind him. So then he gets to the train, and he, like, hops over it as it's, like, going, you know, he hops in one motion with all the magnetism, like, dragging it and spinning, like you're saying, and grabs the front of the train as it starts to go off the broken bridge area. But wait, is there a broken bridge, or is it just out of control? No, it goes so fast that That, there's a curved bridge. bridge. Then it's gonna break loose, yeah. yeah. So then there's, like, a a rock wall face that's been carved to make the train go along, you know, the river gorge, I guess. So then what he does, he uses all the magnetism and he like bounces the train up off of the ridge and runs it around like it's like Mario Kart or something with a bunch of magnetism. Yeah, as he like flies it and spins it and bounces all of them off the ridge and then back down on the track and there's like humongous fucking torque. Yes, across yeah. the curve of the rock. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So then he, you know, torques his prostate even worse. Yes. From eating all the strawberry criers ice cream. Yeah, because they don't put sugar with strawberries. The acid melts you. Yeah, that's you that's part fuck. of the, that's the plot. That's just going to get into the plot, but I'll get to that later. Looking at you, soda cat, you little bitch. Yeah. Yes. Because we got to have the traditional, you know, Superman being an asshole and saving Lois Lane, you know. Yeah. It's perfect. So the whole time you think, like, there's a woman that the snake's wrapped around. You think it's the woman talking. Then it's just the snake talking. So then it, like, um, 